up, Domino community? I'm in Germany and we're building a Domino setup to celebrate the moon landing and space and we're setting up 100,000 Dominos here. Let's go check it out. And if you're new to my channel, I want to say thank you for stopping by. I'm Lily, I'm a Domino artist and that basically means I set up thousands of Dominos and I knock them down in various ways. So thanks for checking it out and I hope you enjoy watching this build up. Might be hard to tell on camera, but this Domino right here is a little bit taller than the ones to the left and right of it. And if we keep building on top of that, it's just gonna get uneven and by the top, like it probably wouldn't even be able to connect. So I'm trying to shave down the domino so it gets mm -hmm. smaller on this side than on this side so we can just adjust for the misalignment again. What a brilliant idea. This is what needs to be done when dominoes aren't perfect. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's see if it works. Yeah, let's see. Johnny has shaved the domino and we'll see if this works. I think this one is white actually. Oh, all right, that's the shaved domino and let's place it. Yeah, that looks much more even. That's a good little tip. Right. <laughs> all right, we're almost done. Yay. Yay, well done. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We are building a circle field here and we are using the projector of the camera up there so we can see the image on the floor and we can just place every domino where it that has is, to be. Wow, so you literally just place it wherever it needs to go and it's on the ground. We place the table behind this because um, it's better to build in the dark so we can see the image better. Mm -hmm. So we're just protecting it from the sunlight. This is so smart. And who came up with this? Was this Jonathan? I think Jonathan. So this is the launch for the circle field that we all built. And it works like that. So we have the mouse trap right here and there's a wire attached to it and it goes all the way up here and here's the ball. The dominoes will release the mouse trap which will release the wire and then the ball will fall down and hit the dominoes and they will all fall. And these ones are one way taped? Yes, they are one way taped. And you cut open a ping pong ball? <laughs> yes, we did. We killed a ping pong ball. <laughs> Let's see if it works. This should actually be brown, so I need to remove all of these dominoes in the flagpole and then replace them here. And it's kind of annoying because it crosses every single row. So if one of these lines falls, it's like in the middle of the field. I'm gonna be real careful. And now I just need to replace it. This might be a while. <laughs> So Justin, what is this technique? Um, this is the edge wall I invented. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a 2D wall, like the edge of them. So it uses vertical dominoes. And what's the advantage of using this technique? Well, for a wall it's a little bit denser. So if you look at the field plan, then you see then that there are less gaps than a normal wall. So the, the image can be a little bit more precise. To, to guide our capsule. So I have mm -hmm. the domino attached to our line so we can like throw it up there. Yeah, to have it attached to the ceiling. And uh, I kind of have to get on the first try because otherwise we risk damaging the other projects, but I try my best. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It was close. Yeah. I tried another time. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That looks good. The things we do for dominoes. So this is my first time in Germany and I've been so excited to come here because I've been watching Domino events from Germany since like 2009. Now I'm here and I'm meeting all these super cool people. This is what we got so far in this setup and let's go say hi to the builders. Hi, I'm Jonathan. What's your channel? The Real Mac Journey. So we just finished building the starting tower for the Saturn V rocket and the next thing we're building is the rocket itself which is going to be just as high as the tower. So this is the master plan 
and it starts down here. We have a little countdown, and then the rocket ship goes around here. NASA logo with a circle field, and then all these other super cool, amazing tricks. We got some walls, astronaut, galaxies, the sun, the patch, moon, astronaut field, and then this is the end field to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. I'm William I'm from the Dutch Domino team, and we're working on the capsule that was sent to the moon, right? Apollo 11? So, yeah. yeah. This is a, a contour field. So you can see there's mm -hmm. an edge here, and there's going to be a huge flame at the bottom here, too. It's going to be really Ooh, cool. That's awesome. This is the field plan, and then underneath you have the directions to build it. There's actually gray, silver, black, and white in there. Oh, wow. So there's a... That looks very confusing to build. <laughs> yeah. Some of these are empty, some are gray, and some are silver. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, I'm Pim, also from the Digital Domino team. And you're stacking the dominoes here? Yes, preparing a bit to uh, to make the road so that William can build them. Nice when there's two builders. You can rotate yeah. in and out of planning and then building it. It's a lot more efficient. Hi, my name's Justin and I'm from Linux 5324. And I'm building the edge wall, which includes the observatory. That's awesome. And this is the plan over here. That's so cool. My name is Samuel, YouTube channel Do Dominosa, And we're currently building the field uh, from the first man on the moon with the flag from the United States. Hi, my name is Alexandra. My YouTube channel is Domino Erdmann. And I'm currently laying out the dominoes so Samuel can take them and put them into the template really fast. I like the teamwork over here. Yeah, Marco, uh, roller coaster free freak on YouTube. And basically the best job in the whole hall right now. I'm uh, stacking the dominoes so Alex can take them and uh, lay the field down so they have uh, an easier job to do. Let's see how fast you can stack them. Not really fast. I think. <laughs> Let's see the technique over it's, here. It's a little bit of pressure right now, you know? <laughs> oh, you stack them in the air. So I have to count them, I can just like make mm -hmm. stacks and then compare them to the rest. Yep. We're building the geocentric world model. We have the Earth in the middle, the moon, the sun, and the orbit that goes around in black. We've built a lot of these lines in curved spirals, and it's kind of showing the background around it to fill the space. And for the constellations, we have some really cool wooden planks and these cylindrical supports. So these will make up the stars, and then we'll build some white dominoes on top of it. It's looking really good, using quite a lot of dominoes, but not as many as we thought it would be. I think we had like 8,000 planned for the black and blue, but since it's not as dense, we might make it bigger later. So this is actually an ancient map of the Earth from about 500 BC by Ptolemaeus, a Greek geographer, and note that the Earth is flat and that there is a sea around it, so people imagine that you fall off the Earth when you get too close to the border. So Earth is flat here, and since it's a geocentric world model, both Moon and Sun are circling around the Earth. And opposed to that, over there, we are building 3D Sun and Earth and Moon to show the modern heliocentric world. I'm Jonathan, I'm the main organizer of this event. Not really active on YouTube anymore and right now I'm building 3D Earth. So this is a half sphere? Yeah, it's a, it's a half sphere with about 4,000 dominoes. Sweet. Just guess uh, which, is, which is bigger, this or the red tower over there? Um, hmm. Maybe about the same? This should be bigger by about 1,500 dominoes. Oh wow, that's gonna be huge. Johnny, you've been building like nothing but structures for this yeah, event. Yeah, sure, <laughs> looks like it. What in the world? It's curved at the top. That's yeah. so weird. Put that to the side. What is this project? That thing is landing and it splashes. Oh, so it's going into the water. And I was, I was given 1,500 blue dominoes and I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> looks good. Cool. Well done.
life. I went past this, I just stepped down here and because of like vibrations on the floor, like some dominoes in this corner started falling apart, but fortunately I was able to repair it and he didn't hold off the top of it all. And here's the completed setup with a hundred thousand dominoes. This is the largest event I've been a part of this year and I'm so happy with how it came out. The fall down video is maybe up as you're watching this video, just click on the top right corner. There's a card that'll link to the video. I want to give a big shout out to JTAR42 for planning this event, as well as Domino Yoyo and Madobo for helping to make some of the field plans here and the 3D structures. All of the awesome Domino builders in this video are linked down below in the description if you want to check out their channels. As always, I'm Hevish5 and I'll see you next Saturday.